All right. Bless you! How is it going, my man? Getting back to Final Fantasy 3. Welcome back to Gilded Gaming. All right, so tonight, let's see, how are we doing on potions? I, I feel like I need to change up my jobs for Bahamut and Leviathan. I'm not sure. That, I, I need a better healer than the Bard. Doing some gardening. That's cool. How does gardening work in Final Fantasy XIV? Like, it, what's the point? What's the? What are you gardening for? Do you get like herbs for alchemy or something? Like, what, what do you? Is it just for? Like, what? What? What is the 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 reward for the the activity? So we we have Leviathan and Bahamut to get here, and after that we're gonna head off to the Cave of Shadows, and then we have to fight. Doga and Une, and then we can go to the ancient cave, and there we fight Titan, and then we'll have our new jobs. But until then, we need to work with what we've got. And I feel like a white mage might be necessary. Don't even have a cooling off period for the white mage. That's awesome. Um, we're gonna have to stay at the end to get our spell levels back. Now, is there anything else I want to change? Is Dark Knight the way to go to right now? If I were to switch off of Dark Knight, what would I switch it to? I guess Viking? would be the option to like try and become tanky and make him our tank for battles we did just get some good dark knight gear though The Aegis Shield actually blocks all status ailments, too. Viking Mail is actually even better, and since the shield's already blocking status ailments, we don't need it to do that. Diamond's even better. We can get him up to 95 defense and 115 attack. The Ice Rod actually costs Blazara instead of Blizzard. Room Bracers will protect against some status ailments. Diamond will give us two more defense. Take that. Can we try something like this? The game is frozen. Oh no! Let's fix that. Yet. What was our best Jerry looking like? 
57%. I believe it's 60% monsters. We'll get the next letter on the Magnet. Right, so we want to rest here so that we can get our white magic back. Let's see how much white magic we have now. And we probably just want to grind a little bit, get some Viking job levels up. This is actually a pretty good place to grind. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We got some spells now. So we got 13 Kuras and 5 Kuragas. That's not bad. Are there any item upgrades that we want to consider from here for these jobs? I uh, think so. There's the Dragon Lances. Those are nice, but 40,000. I don't think I want to spend 40,000 right now because we could be working on getting better magic. And ninth level magic is coming and it's even more expensive. Let's go ahead and save this with our new group. And let's start working on our Viking levels a little bit. And we'll just level up in here a little bit. The seeds are worth over 200,000. Holy crap. You get furniture recipes? Oh, the furniture recipes require stuff you get from gardening. Okay, that makes more sense. For a second, I thought you were saying that like the, the gardening like gives you furniture recipes, like the flower blooms, and inside you find the design for a new ottoman. You know, I was like, wait, what? I was so confused for a second. I love it when the roses bloom and I figure out how to make that rocking chair I've always wanted. Of course, the downside of this being without the bard, we can't heal through grinding as easily. It'd be nice if we had like a heal staff or something that we could use to have the white mage heal without spending spell slots. Although we do have 47 cure slots at this point, so we'll probably be fine. When we finally get Titan down and we get the Earth Crystal jobs, we can finally get rid of White Mage for good. We get really good experience here. For this point in the game, at least. Crab people, crab people. <laughs> How much damage is the Viking doing? Not bad. For having like, basically no job levels. We're gonna do this for a little bit. Final Fantasy. Um, as of yet, we're not planning on doing Final Fantasy Legend 1, 2, and 3 and Final Fantasy Adventure because those are actually Secret of Mana and Saga games. Um, we are planning on doing Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, Final Fantasy Tactics, Final Fantasy Tactics 2, Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2, Dirge of Cerberus, Crisis Core, and many other spinoffs, but, um... They have to actually be Final Fantasy games. Crystal Chronicles, yep. Yeah. World of Final Fantasy, yep. Yeah. Chocobo Dungeon I haven't considered. Um, maybe. It's gonna be a long journey, you know, we will make decisions as we go. I'm trying to play them in release order. So at this point in the timeline, it's very easy to choose. We do one, two, three, four, you know, five, Mystic Quest, six. World of Final Fantasy has Xenogears in it? Oh, that's even more reason for me to pick it. 
My Final Fantasy 3 has Xeno Gears in it. <laughs> well, has Xeno. The Xeno series in it, at least. The viewers um, spent their bananas to name some of the characters, so we have Cosmos and Shulk in our party here. Um, some people are also lobbying for me to include uh, Bravely Default because it's so much like like Final Fantasy 3 or 5, you know, with the job system and everything. It's basically a Final Fantasy game without the name. I can kind of agree with that a lot. Bravely Default is very, very Final Fantasy-esque. I don't know why they didn't call it Final Fantasy. But I haven't decided on that one yet. Because right now we're trying to work on my uh, job levels a little bit for my Viking because we haven't been using him. But I wanted to, I wanted to switch to Viking and White Mage because we are about to fight Leviathan and Bahamut, and they're a little bit harder than the stuff we've been fighting up until this point. And we don't have access to the Earth Crystal jobs yet, which are honestly the strongest jobs in the game other than Onion Knight. Some of the fights are actually challenging in like every other Final Fantasy. I don't know if you can say every other Final Fantasy. Some Final Fantasies have hard fights. Final Fantasy, by and large, for most of the series, is easy. There are harder Final Fantasies, and there are hard fights, like standout fights in certain Final Fantasies. Some of the fights in the PC and or DS remake of 4 can be pretty hard. Mostly because of how much they changed the mechanics of the system and the augments and not knowing who, who to put what augment on. And then you get to a boss that expects you to have some kind of strategy with your augments and you're like, well, I don't know. And the augments are like permanent decisions too. You put an augment on a character and that's his forever. Um, in this game, there's not like any super hard bosses, although, um, one fight, uh, the fight with, um, Garuda in this game is kind of punishing. You fight Garuda and he has a move that can almost drop the entire party at once, and then he follows it up by hitting someone and finishing them off, and he can in fact use that move that hits the whole party twice and just literally one shot the whole party and there's nothing you can do about it and if that happens you just need to reload the game and your only saving grace for fighting Garuda is that he's a flying enemy so he's super weak to Dragoons so you basically need to make your whole party Dragoons and just jump constantly and hope that he doesn't attack while you have people on the ground Final Fantasy 4 can be very easy or hard depending on which version of it you're playing. Some of the versions of Final Fantasy 4 are, are, are... I'm not gonna go out um, and say that they're hard RPGs, because I mean, I've beaten Shin Megami games and those are hard RPGs. But like, there's a huge difference in difficulty between say, the Super Nintendo version of Final Fantasy, the Japanese original version of Final Fantasy for the Game Boy Advance and PlayStation versions of Final Fantasy 4, the PSP version of Final Fantasy 4, and then the DS and PC versions of Final Fantasy 4 all have wildly different difficulty levels. Just you wait, Final Fantasy 4 is the next game on my list. We're going to play the PSP version first, which is one of the easier ones. But I'm planning on playing the PC version as well because it is so different to the point that I feel like it's a different Final Fantasy game. It's the same story, but they've changed so much of the mechanics and the difficulty is is higher. Um, I, I feel like Final Fantasy DS or PC, it's the same port, um, kind of deserves its own spot on our list. So I'm actually gonna play Final Fantasy IV twice. Yeah, the Bravely series is very much in the vein of Final Fantasy 3 or 5. It, it very much is. You got the crystals, you got the job classes. F 11 is a better MMO, but 14 is a better Final Fantasy game. That's a big claim. 
I haven't played much of Final Fantasy XI. One thing I do know about Final Fantasy XI that makes me really like it for an MMO is that outside of maybe like Beastmaster, you basically have to group up even to level, which is something most our MMOs don't make you do. And I never understood why they don't. Like, and it's one of the things I like about Final Fantasy XIV is that it forces you to do dungeons at least during the main story. And that it has a main story. But like, so many MMORPGs, almost every other MMORPG I've, I've ever played, you can play it single player. Final Fantasy XI didn't really have that option. You needed to group up. And I thought that was something that other MMOs should really emulate at some point, but they haven't. Wow. I have never actually played through Bravely Default, which is probably its biggest... Um, it's the biggest thing making me want to add it to the list, is I haven't played, Bra played Bravely Default 1 or 2. I've played, like, the first chapter of Bravely Default 1. Like, I got far enough to have a couple jobs, and I think one big story point. I don't remember it well enough to know what even that is. I might remember it once I start playing. But, um, I did play some Bravely Default Part 1, but not very much. So, I, um, I definitely think Bravely Default has a good chance of ending up on the list. Why do I have Cosmos and Shulk but not Faye? That's a good question. Um, the answer is my viewers named the characters. Um, you can thank Bless You, actually, for that. Bless You named Shulk and Cosmos. We have a, um, re a channel point reward. You can spend your bananas to buy... Who's that Pokemon? To name the next character that I get to name. And bless you, named Cosmos and Shulk. Um, but, no, but no one named the other two. Um, the lad's name is Ark, so I need to mark the lad. And the other one's just named after me. But, um, yeah. Although, my um, my Final Fantasy XIV character is named Elheim, and her chocobo is named Faye, <laughs> so she rides Faye around all the time. So we do have a Faye on the stream still right now. On Wednesdays and Thursdays, I play Final Fantasy XIV. You can watch me ride Faye all over Eorzea. <laughs> right? <laughs> Ellie and Faye get a lot of ride time in, uh, um, that's for sure. And Faye's a big chicken. It totally fits. <laughs> How are we doing on our job levels here? Let's see. Uh, he's only job level three. You got one of the near minions today? Hmm? Oh, is that a Final Fantasy XIV thing? I know they have like a near crossover now. Gotcha. You played 14 but quit after two months. I've played 14 up until like level 56 or so. I don't remember exactly. Um, so this is my second time playing 14, but I've never done most of it. So I've made it into Heaven's Word before. Um, but we are going to do everything now, so I'm playing Final Fantasy 14 on Wednesday, no, sorry, yeah, Wednesdays and Thursdays, and we're just gonna do it throughout the entire Final Fantasy marathon until we run out of things to do in 14, whichever comes first. Ran out of stuff to do, really. You maxed out every class, including crafting and gathering, in two months? You must have played the crap out of that in two months, dude. Holy crap. Every quest, every dungeon, every fight. How many hours did you put into Final Fantasy XIV in those two months to max out every job and to do every quest and everything? 
gotcha. That is true. From what I've heard, the expansions are a lot better than the original Arm Reborn part. So, we'll see. I'm actually going to go back and save the game and save the end one more time. I'm going to make a run on Leviathan and after having saved and see about where we're at as far as beating him. We might be strong enough to beat him right now. I don't remember exactly how powerful that he is. I just remember that I need to treat Bahamut and Leviathan with a little bit of respect here. MMOs that don't have hotbar skill rotation as their combat system. Honestly. fantasy stories are meh I mean what are you comparing them to Xenoblade and Xenosaga I mean that's a very different type of story I think Final Fantasy has some good stories I think if you're comparing Final Fantasy X has a good story I think if you're comparing most RPGs to like the Xeno series, the stories are gonna fall under that category. You know, honestly, I have an urge to play Legend of Dragoon. That's why I put it on the <laughs> list for the poll, but it didn't do very good on the poll. I'm gonna play Legend of Dragoon on the stream at some point. You know, I've never beaten Legend of Dragoon. I've played the beginning of it, and I loved it, but I've never finished it. I've got to do that at some point. You're comparing them to stories that develop characters and have complex, complex plots. You can't think of a Final Fantasy that surprised you with a reveal. Hmm. I don't think Final Fantasy really sets out to surprise you, I think is the problem there. Like generally, like I'm thinking about most Final Fantasy games, like like there's like let's go through like one the reveal is that Garland is actually chaos and no one cares because no one knew who chaos and Garland were. Um, two, the big reveal in two is about where your fourth party member's been the whole game, and it's pretty well telegraphed that you probably guess it before you get to the point of the reveal. Um, Final Fantasy three doesn't really have a big reveal, honestly. Kind of thing. Mm -mm. Yeah. Um. Party fillers. Vaughn and Pinello just exist. Uh, you don't want to go into party fill fillers. Name an RPG that doesn't have party fillers. Let's go Xenoblade Chronicles. Um. Our sniper friend. <laughs> Why is she even there? If you could take her out, the story wouldn't change. Yeah, I mean, Final Fantasy tends to foreshadow their reveals heavily. 
they have reveals, they're just not really secret reveals, if that makes sense. Um... For the most part. Final Fantasy... Yeah... Final Fantasy 7 has some cool reveals, but you need like a thesis in Final Fantasy 7 and several playthroughs to understand the plot well enough to realize the reveals. <laughs> it didn't do, the, the plot didn't translate well in Final Fantasy 7, whether it was the translation or their ability to put it into script or whatever, it, it, it was it was confusingly executed. All right, let's try Leviathan real quick. Final Fantasy VIII, I have not beaten, so I, I can't comment on its story or its quote-unquote reveals. Final Fantasy IX has a couple reveals, but they're not, like, earth-shattering. I am Leviathan. Only those strong in the light may receive my aid. I don't think Final Fantasy VII Remake will succeed where the original failed as far as telling the, the story of the original, because Final Fantasy VII Remake is not a remake. That's the big reveal of Final Fantasy VII Remake, is that it's not a remake. <laughs> They're not gonna tell the same story. Let us test the light within you. Leviathan attacks you. Okay. Here we go. Oh, you know what? I should've... I should've brought a black... Oh, no, no, it's low. I should've brought a black mage. Because... I think he's actually weak to lightning. Alright. Let's try Provoke and see if I can get him to attack my, my, um, Viking. Um, it's just, jump, uh, just a regular attack for now. We'll do Terrain. And then let's open up with a Protect on everybody. Can I not do it on everybody? Really? Let's do... Hmm. Protect on Shulk if the Provoke works, theoretically. Whirlpool is not going to work on Leviathan. Come on, man. I'm sure he's immune to that. Awesome. Alright, if we can get him to keep doing that, then we're set. Just keep provoking him. You can go ahead and jump. Try and actually do your other train move this time. And... You might as well put Protect on you. In case the Provoke doesn't work. I'm not entirely sure if it's 100%. There we go, Wind Slash. Not bad. Dying is not a spoiler anymore. I'm sorry, it's not. <laughs> um, wow, Provoke seems ridiculously good. Um, let's Ice Rod him. Ooh, do we have a Light Rod? I don't think we have a Light Rod. A Light Rod would be great. The best part here is Leviathan's physical attack is crap, and the Viking's defense is so good. He's only taking one damage. <laughs> We gotta switch those stays. Uh, his one of his weapons is um healing it. It looks like no, no, he healed himself. It was he has blood lances. Never mind, he's healing himself. Um, just keep provoking. Just do a regular attack. If he's not gonna be doing tsunami, then we're fine. Everybody always talks about Aerith dying like it was some big thing. And it was. Because of how they did it. And because Final Fantasy VII really brought Final Fantasy into popularity for a lot of people. 
But like, oh, he can cast Protect on himself? Do I have something that can rip that off of him? Oh man, Here we need like a race. Alright, let's jump to get around the Protect a little bit. Terrain should ignore that. I think Terrain... Terrain doesn't actually count as magic, so I think it completely ignores magic defense. Not that Protect gives you magic defense, but like... I'm just saying. Do you have... I think your race is white, but I don't think we have it. Do we have... It cast Break. Yeah, we don't have anything that casts a race, so we can't get rid of the Protect. That's fine. As long as we can keep him just doing this physical attack. We can just damage him with impunity. Okay, he can still do that. Didn't hurt that much. That's fine. Provoke. Terrain. Go ahead and... Hero is probably fine. Members die all the time in Final Fantasy games. They always have. Ever since Final Fantasy 2. You lose like four party members in Final Fantasy 2. Boom! Leviathan's down. Yeah, like Final Fantasy 2, Final Fantasy 5, Final Fantasy 4, no, 4, Final Fantasy 6. All have major party members die. Final Fantasy 7, obviously Aerith, right? I don't know about 8. Final Fantasy 9 has people die. Final Fantasy 10 has Tegas die. Like, almost every Final Fantasy has major party members die. Yeah, I know I've seen that fan theory, but that's not the actual story. Why does it need What do you mean 14 isn't canon? To nine? No, yeah, that's true. All right, so we got Leviathan. So we're only missing two summoning spells, Bahamut and Titan. We can go get Bahamut now. Titan is actually who we have to fight to get our final jobs.